Frederick, where's your red hair? It's turning maroon, you ignorant swap. Hello, Fidgets. Welcome to Frederick's Art Camp. In this episode, we will be painting a Christmas present. Do you know why? It's because some of us cannot afford everything unlike other YouTubers. But when you are crafty and you are cheap, you make do with Target. It's the day after Christmas by the time this is uploaded, and I'm doing a present exchange with my friends on the 31st. And I need to make this M for my friend Maya. Take a good guess why I chose M, everyone. That's right, it's her name. <laughs> jokes. I can't do them. But I didn't want to buy an M. I was not going to go to Etsy and order a $50 M letter and pay $100 shipping for it to arrive in two months. No, no, no ma'am. No. On this channel, we make our presents and we save because a boy got to go to college and a boy got to go to an expensive college because a boy's Asian. So, let's get to painting. Today, we're going to be doing where the fuck did that staple go? No, I need to find it. I need to find it. It's gonna jab me at night and then I'm gonna regret all my decisions of not trying to find it earlier. Where the fuck are you? Where are you? Hello? Hello? I should probably get out of this outfit because if it gets on it, it... Yeah, no, hold on. I need to, I need to change outfits. I'm back, bitches. Okay, so Maya's favorite color is purple. So first, I'm gonna make a base color for this. I'm going to use this palette that I used for the Squibber video, and I need my tools. <laughs> Unsubscribe now, please. What? Painting makes me hungry, okay? Don't act like you don't do it. I have the choice between mixing two of these fancy colors or mixing two Target brands. Now, because it is my friend and I want to use QUALITY acrylic paint, I'm going to try mixing these two colors first. I should not be balancing this on my knee, but I won't listen to myself. Just do equal parts of red and blue. And this is the biggest brush I have, I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh, hold on, this is a paint mixing video. Get in nice and close. Oh wait, that is not turning into a good color. Oh no! I've already messed up. My art teacher lied to me. This is supposed to make purple. Instead it turned to like actual gunk. Let me zoom you in a little bit more. Perfect. Yeah, so this color is not cutting it. So I'm going to add some white, I think. Then I'm gonna add some light color into it. Um, that's better. Maybe I'll add the target brand instead. Okay, so... Target brand definitely did not help. So, I'm realizing now that it is too dominantly red. So we gotta add much more blue. Cause red and blue make purple kids. That's right YouTube, I am family friendly. We do not curse on this Christian channel. Oh, what the fuck? What? Oh, that's like, that's just blue. I added maybe a little more than a drop. Uh, Google? Okay, okay. Let's see what I can mix here. Okay, that's still just straight up blue. And that's just gray. This is gray. <laughs> Why do you watch me? Okay, I'm just gonna mix for a while and keep adding colors and eventually fill up this whole palette until I can get the color I'm looking for. What is this? What is this? What? <laughs> that's not paint. That's a, that's an alien. A few minutes later. Okay, after five minutes of actually mixing, I fill up three parts of this now. My prediction is that if I add black, it'll be more vibrant, which makes absolutely no sense, but I have frankly given up already. Oh my God, what have I started? I really thought that I did not need to buy purple paint and now I'm really thinking I need to go and buy purple paint. You know what, I need to bring up another palette cause I, you don't want to see. Oh shit, wait, I have watercolor. I could probably just use watercolor pigments. But will I? No. Why? Because I'm dumb. Alright, you know what? Where in the hell are my watercolors? I need you. Thank you. This? Violet. There. We're good. Yes, I'm 100% using watercolor paint right now. Do I look like I give a damn? Absolutely not. Wow, beautiful, amazing, so pigmented. I sound like Manny Emuay. 
This is the color I was looking for. So I'm thinking if I mix watercolor and acrylic together, that it will magically make this good, like, hybrid. Look at that vibrant purple. Was that so hard, Frederick? No, Frederick, it wasn't. Now you just have to make sure you have enough of this pigment to cover the whole goddamn thing because you don't have a second chance to mix another color. Do you? No, I don't, Frederick. Why are you talking to yourself? I don't fucking know. Okay, I'm gonna put in one more squeeze of this and I'm gonna go ahead and paint that M. How long has this been filming? 21 minutes of mixing. Hmm. From what I see, this will work out fine. Oh yes! Look at the beauty, the pigmentation, the coverage! Accept me, beauty gurus. Actually, I'm kidding. I'm just a small Asian YouTuber. I will never be put into that beauty community. Nor do I want to be, because y'all are dramatic as fuck. I thought I was extra, and then I saw one drama video. I wonder what all the professional artists, artists are thinking of me, like, his brush strokes are wrong. He didn't blend this enough. Yeah, bitch, I'm painting one color and I didn't blend it enough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But for real, if you ever wanted your paints to be opaque, use watercolor. And I'm so glad that it's working out right now. Except, I'm starting to run out of color. Okay, it was so thick that I added some more water, and now I feel like I have enough. It's literally all one swipe. This is... <laughs> Oh my god, I'll just shut up. Oh wait, oh god. Is watercolor and acrylic gouache? Am I a dumbass? You know what, if you made a comment saying like, it's actually gouache that you just made, Frederick, keep that comment. Don't delete it. Because I want to see how many people are smarter than me in painting. Unleash your inner artist. And don't even think about me getting the back of it. it. She'll hang it. This is how you force someone to hang it on the wall. You don't paint the back. Oh my god, this is impossible to get that corner. Flat brush my ass. You had one job. Literally one job. Oh great, and now I got stains on my carpet. And this is not my apartment. I'm still trying to get this one part and it's taking forever. So. What do you do when you're lazy? You take all your paint and just glob it right there and you jab at it. That's another stain. Oh, and it's on my joggers too. Great. What a wonderful world. Oh my god, the M is covered. I'm going to leave it here, let it dry for a little. Until then, I will tend to my brushes and eat a snack. Sewage. I'm also probably gonna just dump this palette out because it's filled to the brim. Beauty guru style! Like, guys, it's literally filled <laughs> to the brim! Guys, I can dip my finger in it. That is how thick it is. So I have some paint markers, and I'm gonna draw, like, a flower design. What the fuck? What? Why are these all wrapped in fucking plastic? Why do you hate the earth? Give me a minute. Okay, now that I am done, four out of five stars just because you wasted some plastic. So I'm gonna first test some colors to see if they actually work. And these are the kind of paint markers where you have to like press repeatedly until the ink decides to, you know, come out of the closet. So these are pretty opaque, I hope. If not, I do have a backup plan. I hope we don't have to go to that backup plan, which is freehanding. But I'm just gonna look at some paintings of flowers to see like, what I can be inspired by. Beauty guru style! So right now this is really inspiring me. It was uploaded by Angela Anderson. I would sketch it out, but I don't think my pencil will show up on purple. Let me first see if these can actually layer. They layer okay-ish. So what I'm first gonna do is take the time to activate all of these. What did I paint? Oh, hi, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna move you so we can do like this aerial view. So the painting starts with like this big red rose right here. Oh, that sound. Oh, that sound is gonna get me. Whoa! Okay. Doesn't mean it looks too good, but just give me a second here. So clearly, I don't know if you can tell, but that doesn't look amazing. So what I think I wanna do is use my watercolor pigment instead. What I'm gonna do is put all the colors of the rainbow on here. And we're going to see if I can make something out of this. The hell does Chinese white mean? Um, yeah, I want some answers. Guys, look at this. Hooker's green made a comeback. Why doesn't mine look like hers? So clearly, 
This isn't going as planned. I'm gonna go back to that later when it's dry. Try it again here instead, which is a great idea. Try what you already failed again. Okay, see, that doesn't look that bad. That could pass off as a rose in some culture. I'm also gonna see if I can't scrape some of this off. That, my friends, was a mistake. I should not have done that. For this girl, it literally took like four strokes. Okay, that's not looking that bad anymore. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come back to that when it dries so I can add more layers. You take some green and just makes like little thin strokes. It takes like a dab of green. <gasps> oh, please do not fall like that. Like I was saying, she takes thin lines of green that are sort of scratchy looking. I don't know the terminology, guys. Okay, that sort of looks like a watermelon. And yes, I'm using cardboard paper as my blotter. Okay, so my battery just died, but we're gonna keep going. Now I'm gonna take a darker blue. Ah, my foot is numb. Oh my god, my foot is very numb. <sighs> wake up, wake up. I'm trying to layer flowers over this. Okay, this doesn't look that bad now. That's usually how it always works for me though. Like things will look terrible until the very freaking end. This. I hope is one of those examples. I'm gonna go back to the pink. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry one more time. Now that this blue is dry, what I'm gonna do is add dots to them. If you take the end of this nub, dip it in some yellow. And I don't like how that really looks, so I'm gonna add some red petals to whatever this kind of flower is. I literally don't know what kind of flower I'm making. I'm not mad at that. Only thing that I wish I kept was the green. I'm gonna add a green line back in. Yes, I just did that to my freaking joggers. I don't care anymore. These are the pink joggers from now on. Oh yeah, if you ever wanted your brushes to just be like very, very bristly, do that. I think I've done the best I can. All right, I think that's the best we're gonna get for today. My foot is numb again. Okay, next up, another flower. Abstract, am I right? All right, that didn't take too long to do. Okay, I wanna be super honest with you right now. I can't, this is like three hours of footage already, so I'm just gonna finish this all up and show you when I'm done. One eternity later. So after like a total of four hours of working on this, this is what we have. I like it. It's abstract. I've never really done that kind of stuff before. Still in the middle of drying. But give me your opinion. I mean, don't be too harsh because, like, I'm only a beginner. I don't professionally draw, okay? But that is probably it because I'm tired. I have to edit this video now. Oh. So if you enjoy, give us your like. Leave a comment down below or subscribe because I post videos every Saturday, Sunday, or Wednesdays if I'm not procrastinating. Paint on that notification bell like this. Oh, that was the gayest thing I did today. And I love you guys and everything is less than three. And look at my hands. Look at this mess. Look at this big mess I've made.